order to utilize Gig Partner to control your lights, you need a DMX controller. This soft controller, called DMXs, provided by Entech, software by DB AudioWare, is our preferred choice of product. Entech provides us a turnkey package with the software as well as a small USB device that can control up to 512 channels of DMX lighting. The elegant software interface looks like an actual piece of hardware on DMX controller. In my example, I have set up four LED lights, a Revel 4, and a Cyclops. That's going to be my basic setup for lighting for the purpose of this demonstration. The Revel 4 by American DJ is basically a dance floor effect, and the Cyclops is a moving head fixture. Once we have created a specific lighting scene, we can save that scene using the Preset Manager. The Preset Manager allows us to give that scene a name, and if we like, we can store it into several banks that we can create to organize our scenes. Please note that from my experience, I highly recommend that you number all presets and banks with either a two or three digit number starting with 00. This way, if you accidentally sort the list, they'll stay in the proper order in which you create them, which is important when calling these scenes via a MIDI command. We'll talk a bit more about that later. Right now, what I'd like to do is, since I'm an organized person, I want to create some washes, and I'm going to create a bank that basically has some washes in it. I'm going to create a new bank, the next bank, 01, space, and I'll call it washes. Okay, let's create a basic red wash. Click on Preset Manager to go back to Controls view. Double click on any of the red controls, they all select move them up. They're all evenly moved up to the same amount. Let's do that with the dimmers as well. All the dimmers move up. Notice that the Revo and Cyclops are not touched. Just the four LEDs. Okay, I've got my red wash. Let's create a new preset. Click on New. Let's number it. Remember, zero, 00 is our first one. And call it Red Wash. Nice and simple. Let's create one more wash. Click on Preset Manager button to go back to Controls view. And double click on our reds because we don't want any red. Bring them down. Double click on the blues. Bring them up. Leave the dimmers the way they are. Create a new one. Zero 01 is the next number. Blue wash. Very easy. Okay, we've got a couple basic washes created for our demo. Under the bank washes, let's create another kind of lighting scene one that is sound activated. Again, I like to organize everything nice and neat, so I'm going to create a new bank. The new bank, I'm going to call it 02, the next number, and I'm going to call it Sound Washes. You don't have to create all these different banks for all these different washes. You can put them all under one bank washes. I'm just trying to do this for the purpose of the demonstration. Okay, let's go over to our control view, get rid of our reds, and let's just make a, with our LED lights, make a basic green wash. Move up the greens. Now we're going to do something a little different with the dimmers. Rather than leaving the dimmers in a static position, we're going to keep them highlighted, but we're going to operate them using a fantastic DMX's feature, the Sound Tracker. The Sound Tracker by default is off. If I raise the level to any number above zero, the sound tracker becomes activated and will control the highlighted items. Which of course in our example are the four dimmers. Alright, now there are a number of controls in the sound tracker. The frequency at which it operates, attack, release, and direction. You'll have to play with these to get the desired effect. But for now we're going to leave the sound tracker to operate our dimmers in the mid-range area. But we're not going to stop there. Let's deselect all our controls and do something fun with our Cyclops. Let's start off with, again, green. Let's make a green spot with our Cyclops by turning on 
the colors to light green and opening the shutter to full, full open. Okay, now let's have some fun with our Cyclops. A neat feature in DMXs is this little window on the left. There's a little bubble in the window. If you grab it and move it with your mouse, you'll see that it'll operate the pan and tilt by just moving the little bubble on the screen. Let's center the pan and tilt and let's operate the pan with sound, just like we did our LED lights. And we'll come down to the sound tracker and turn on the sound tracker. We'll leave it in the frequency of sub and not bother with the other controls for now. Now the tilt, for the tilt we're going to use the oscillator. The oscillator is a fantastic feature of DMXs by turning the type on to um, sine wave. Here is a sine wave effect of moving our tilt. We can move it to square wave which is a different effect and then there's triangle, there's saw. Again, play with it, have a lot of fun. You can get a lot of effects out of the oscillator on DMXs. So for the purposes of our demo, we're going to stay with the sine wave, which is a nice smooth up and down motion for our tilt. Now look at the dramatic motion of the tilt. That's too much. Let's reduce it by the amount control. And the speed, that's too fast. Let's control the speed by either the beats per minute or the number of bars it takes to move. So we've increased the number of bars. Now the tilt is moving at a nice, slow, even amount. And the pan will be operated by sound. Now just so that you can see it move, I'm going to increase the frequency to closer to the mid-range so you can see it operate. Now, isn't this amazing? We've got all this activity going on with our lights and our cyclops, and then this is still just one scene, something that might require several scenes on other software. Now, let's save this scene. Let's give it a name under our sound washes, 00, zero because it's the first scene, and call it uh, Crazy Green. Now we've got crazy green as a preset under O2 sound washes. Now that we've created a few banks and presets for our demo, let's talk about controlling them via MIDI. In DMXs, you can select a bank by sending it a command 32 and then the number of the bank that you want. Scenes can be selected by the P or program code followed by the number of the scene. The third character is irrelevant. So, banks are selected by C or Command 32. Scenes are selected by P and the scene number. When DMX is, is installed on the same laptop or computer as Gig Partner, you can use a free piece of software called MIDI Yoke, which acts as a loopback virtual port for MIDI. You'll see it installed in your control panel of your laptop. Now let's configure DMXs to use that port. Simply go to File and your Audio and MIDI Settings. Go to your MIDI tab and then you'll see if it's installed the MIDI yoke appear here. Let's leave it on channel 1, nice and simple. Now let's see how this all works coming from Gig Partner.